guys, what's going on? It's Talk Force TV. Yeah, we're all back with um, Rad to my left. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. Hope you're well. I am, yeah. Merry Christmas. Hi. Same to yourself. <laughs> yes. Um, obviously, we have got um, Middlesbrough away on Boxing Day, which is a Sunday. Um, what are your thoughts going into it? Well, I mean... Every single game right now, I'm very positive about Forest, really. Um, you know, obviously, Borough have been very up and down this season. Um, so, I do think that's going to definitely increase our chances of getting a result there. Um, obviously, they've got Chris Wilder, who was obviously very close to signing for us um, when Hewton left us. Uh, but Borough, you know, it's always quite up and down when we go to their ground. Um, but, you know, other than that, I mean, last season, we lost to them, of course. Um what did we do after that? I can't remember. Oh, we drew, didn't we? Yeah, we drew one of the last games before the last lockdown. The year before that, we beat them. So it's quite up and down uh, against Burn. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not expecting an easy game. Um, I think it's going to be difficult. But right now, especially given the fact that they're below us, I think we can. Um, you know, it'd be a huge result if we get it. Definitely, I do agree with that. I mean, they got a really good result last week as well against Bournemouth through us up there. So. It yeah. shows how much the championship is if um, teams are getting results against the top teams. Mm, yeah, I mean, both of them better uh, underwater from what I've seen from them. I've looked at their results and that. And, yeah, they're, they're doing probably where you'd expect them to be. At times, they've been a little bit off. Um, obviously, the first game was obviously the last time we, he was our manager. Uh, and it wasn't obviously yet another poor game for us, but uh, I think it would be a very different game from that one um, for sure. I think at the very least we'll actually try and, sh- and shoot more than we did in that one. Um, but yeah, obviously seventh is is just I think beyond any Forest fans' wildest dreams at the start of the season, really. Um, and you know, who knows if, if we could get top six, it would be if a huge, huge achievement if we were to do that. Um, this season, I mean, ne- la- next season, I think is what maybe we would have expected. But this season at the halfway stage, um, yeah, Cooper's just revolutionised this, really. I would like to talk up about Chris Eaton as well, funny enough. Because obviously, like when Chris Eaton got sacked, that was kind of like the nail in the coffin for Eaton. Because he got sacked near enough that night or morning, whatever you need mm. reports or um, from that night. but um, obviously, Middlesbrough changed their manager as well this season, letting go of Warner and getting him out of So, I think September's game to now will be a lot more different in terms of um, of how both teams play. I mean, Cooper obviously revolutionised us, and now we're looking more optimistic than we did do when we did play Mubbua at the start of the season. Mm, yeah, it's. Um... It's going to be interesting for sure because you know both from what I've seen, I don't really know what to make of them this season. Really, but they've got some good results along the way, but they've also had a lot of poor ones. Really, um, they've been mid-table most of the time. It is going to be harder to try and it's no easier. So it's, it should be easier to try and beat them, given the fact we've got Cooper now. If, if we had Putin, um, I wouldn't be obviously I wouldn't be gone for them to talk, but uh, yeah, it's a lot's changed since that match for sure, and it's kind of mad that we're playing for already. Um, because it doesn't really seem that long ago since we last played them, but uh, yeah, it would be the interesting one. Mm. Oh, definitely, it will be an interesting one. I mean, with injuries cropping up in Aswad and being reported that some COVID cases. Um, as well, how do you feel like that? Um, Forest will, will line up against us uh, against Middlesbrough. Um, you say we got some COVID cases, I didn't, I didn't even realize that. Yeah, from what I've gathered, there's two, but unidentified. Oh. I see. Um, I mean, depends on who they are, really, but it, obviously, we, we won't have Spence, uh, for Boa and. <laughs> For yeah, if they are to recall Spence, which would be incredibly good thing, of course, Huddersfield might be one of his last games for us. Um, but it, what would annoy me if we did lose Spence is 
and I, you know, I haven't watched Burrow closely really, but I know that they've got another very young right back or right hand side of player. Uh, Asai Jones has been playing there this season, from what I've heard, and he's he's quite a similar player to Spence, quite young and and you know quick and skillful. And it would it would frustrate me given the fact that they got him. Like you know, if they get, I think he can play on the wing as well, but it, it does. It doesn't really make sense if they were to recall Spence. If they were, I suppose it would just be, oh, so Forrest don't have him. But I wouldn't really want. <laughs> Obviously, I don't want Spence to go back. But you know, it's it's going to be when it looks when it turns in terms of the lineup, it's difficult really. What who's going to play at right back? Or maybe Tutu could play there because he's technically a right back. Uh, and then other than that, obviously on the other side, God forbid, Bong might play there. Um, or may, maybe we might, maybe we might give Drago a go. Maybe or you know we put we put two two uh, at right back and then we stick the call back on the left. Maybe I think that's probably more likely. Um, I personally would do that because um, I think Colback did pretty well against it was it Hull the other day at left back. So yeah, and if two, if that's his two two's fit, but apparently it wasn't that bad his injury. Yeah, that one. It'd be worrying to see. Who is injured? I mean, if Tutu injury from last week, if it's um, serious or not, hopefully that it's only was a contact one and is fit. I mean, then it's just that sort of like, who would you play at right back, left back? Would you play Drag at right back, play Tutu left back, or play Tutu right back and um, talk about left back? But then it's the same old, similar story with that. That this last two months since um, Lowe got injured. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's good that we got these options. As we obviously we do. The number one priority for me in in January has got to be in terms of incomings is get another left back in um, to help out with Lowe. Um, maybe not number one, but we, you know we need a striker as well. Um, but other than other than Lowe, obviously he's injured right now. Um, we're seeing it is a bit of a. A difficult situation to deal with. Like, yeah, you know, we've been playing Bong there, we've been playing Tutu there, call back there occasionally. You know, it, there's there's no set player, and I think that's something that we do need to try and solve. Um, and obviously, really, Tutu is a right back, call back's actually a midfielder, uh, and the only <laughs> that we've got is is well, he's, he's terrible in Bong. So um, yeah, we need to get a left back for sure, uh, and striker as well. Um, I like Lyle Taylor, but I don't think he's on the same level as Gavin. Um, it, when he comes on, he, he always tends to... He gives his, his best and he can obviously get very important goals like against Bristol, of course, and Coventry last season. So he can do it, but I just if we want to be trying to push for the Premier League and if he were to be in the Premier League, I don't think Taylor's anywhere near good enough for that. Um, so I don't want to just keep learning players and these are loan limit, of course. So we would have to make, I think we'd have to make one of the five loans we've got permanent or get rid of one of them to actually sign up a player on loan, uh, which would be interesting. But I'd like to see us get a, maybe a loan striker in, um, or just, well, I just contradict myself that I'd just like to see us get a, get a striker in, um, is my point. But uh, yeah, let's just see what happens with that one. Mm. I imagine that people is already starting to get that sort of, um, can place. I mean, we have been um, linking with Arsenal's um, Paul Dannon and that, and uh, um, some Serie A players that do not confirm who it is. So I think hmm. it seems like something happening, but then, like you said, we don't want to be using the loan system too much, or are we actually bringing one of the loan players permanently to um, resolve this? Yeah, um, it'd be interesting to see who it is. I mean, I personally think, I mean, because he's injured, maybe he wouldn't be the first one. But I think Lowe's probably the most likely to stay with us because um, our left back situation is very thin. Sheffield United have got a lot of left backs, so I mean, I think, and he, I think he's enjoying it with Forrest quite a lot. Um, for me, the one I want to keep the most is Spence, but I just don't see Burr being. It would be a very stupid decision for Burr to let him go to Forrest. Um, as much as I'd love it if we were to... I mean, if we were to offer a lot of money for him, then they can't really turn it down. Honestly, I'd do that because he's that, he's that good. Um, you know, if, if I wouldn't mind keeping Zink either. Um, I don't think Garner would, would stay. 
uh, really. But yeah, obviously we've got lots of options up front. Uh, well, lots of players linked with us um, that could play up front. Um, you know, either has been linked with us. Obviously, I wouldn't want Dwight, yeah, really, but uh, he's been linked. And the Serie A player that we don't know who it is in Balogun. So, yeah, and I've heard about Keenan Davis as well. So, um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what we'll get. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it will be an interesting month to see how that does go about. I mean, it's next week now mm. when transfer in the does actually come at about, say, Mm. It, 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 it was sure to be a big month. I mean, with the old Brennan Johnson thing as well, I mean, David Johnson came out and totally and denied it and that we had, we rejected a bit already for Brennan. So, yeah, it, it will be a big month for, for like Joe Wall and Brennan Johnson. Yeah, I mean, keeping Brennan. I, I did a tweet about it. Uh, yesterday and it, it got a bit a mixed reaction like some people were saying you got to be getting 20 million like you can't you can't turn that down and others were saying yeah you got to keep him and I, I was just basically saying like you have to keep Brennan um and I also did reiterate well obviously 20 million would be huge for a championship club um especially I think someone like us really um because we could reinvest that in some of the loan players we've already got keep them or, and other players you know it's it's a lot of money um, but I mean, it, it, it's it's a huge thing to do is is to sell one of your prime assets and, and one of the best young players in the championship uh, in Brennan Johnson. And he's obviously had a bit of a dip, but you see it now. He's you know he's coming back into his own form, getting that great goal against Hull. So I mean, he's been linked with pretty much every Premier League club under the sun, really. You know, Everton, Newcastle, Brentford. You know, Brent, Brentford are still trying to go for him. And, I mean, Newcastle, if it was to go there, it, I suppose you could say, well, they'll just be in the Championship again. But obviously, Newcastle, have, they're probably going to be a, quite a good team in the future with their new owners. Um, so, I don't know what will happen with Brennan, but I just really hope... I'd prefer him to go in the summer than now, to be honest, um, if we're going to lose him. And I would want to try and get at least 20 million because um, he's... He's going to have a huge future ahead of him. And you mentioned Wall, you know, I think I don't think Wall would go in, in January. Um, and this this is why, like, do I don't know whether we're actually ready to get promoted, but I kind of feel like if we're going to, it kind of has to be this season because you look at the whole team, it's kind of built on Wall and Johnson and Yates. And you could quite easily see one of those players maybe leaving. Uh, if you weren't to get the playoffs, or go up. Um, so, I think we have to make the most of having them, really. Hey. Oh, definitely. I, I do actually agree with that, you, with you on that to a fair. Um, yeah. I think I had, a, I had a conversation earlier with another Forest fan and said that about, in Brennan Johnson's um, shoes, that, mm. fair enough, if it's not trying to force me, if I'm glad he ain't, to be fair, um, but if he was trying to force me, if he does go to the club, it won't be as that like, starting there enough like he is now at first because um, yeah. it'd be that like, in and out. Whereas where he is now, he's near enough for starting like nine, ten, yeah. ten times a week, uh, uh, ten, nine, ten times a season, um, game, say. Mm. Um, so that would that would do well as well, depending on which club it is. It wouldn't really be that much of a starter. So, if, mm. if they are going to go, I mean, God, God forbid them that they do, they wouldn't be as first name on the team sheet like the, if they would to stay here. Yeah, I mean, I don't see Johnson really starting at any Premier League club, really. I think he'll be on the bench. Um, and it, it is a huge step up um, when you realise that He's only been a regular player starting every week in the championship for half a season. You know, he was with us uh, in nineteen twenty for a bit, but he was, you know, he was on the bench occasionally. He was, on, he, yeah, he was a bit part player, but now he's he's regularly in the team. And to go from being a star in League One to being in the Premier League within a year, it, it's a huge step up. And if he was to go and do well, then fair play to him. But I don't know whether he's he's ready for that. Um, if I was, you know, it's easy to say this, the Forest fan, if I was him, I'd stay um, to keep developing. Um, 
if you can you can look at loads of championship clubs, a player that could quite easily maybe go to the Premier League, but are they are they ready for the Premier League? Um, will they start? And yeah, if if, if I had the choice as a football, I'd rather be playing than be on the bench, of course. Uh, obviously, if you, you know if you get Premier League, you're going to get even bigger wages as well, which is always tends to be quite lucrative, of course. Um, so yeah, it's it's going to be interesting. I really hope we don't lose Brennan. Um, 20 million would be a lot for us, but personally for him and for the whole team, I think for now it's best he stays, but I think it is inevitably will go uh, to the permanent at some point, to be honest. And with Warwell as well, he's been linked away for years. If he was to go, I'd, I'd understand it. Um, but again, I'm not sure if he'd start. Uh, I don't think he'll start for West Ham, especially with how good they are at the moment. So, um, yeah, he'd just be on the bench, really, wouldn't he? So, we've just got to be trying to keep him in our team as long as we can, really. Yeah, definitely. Um, I do actually agree with that, um, yeah. to be fair. Um, what would the scoreline be, do you think it will be on the um, Sunday? Hmm. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's a difficult one. I think it's... it's Boa is normally quite a difficult place to go, but there's not. I think they're beatable, really, away. And you know, right now, I don't really fear anyone. Um, even Bournemouth and Fulham, I think, will give them a good game. And I know, Fulham, I know Fulham and Bournemouth are slipping up a little bit. And I think, obviously, no, my point is, obviously, they beat us early in the season, but now they're slipping up. I think they're giving them a better game. Um, but anyway, that's kind of off topic. I think. I'm going to go 2 you now, Boris. I'm going to go confident. Yeah. For the first confident one I'd all day. <laughs> mm, yeah, I, I I wouldn't be surprised. Um, maybe, maybe they could score, but, you know, I, I think we'll win this one. Yeah. Definitely. So I'd like to say thank you for watching for coming on. That's pretty sure. Yeah, no problem. So I'd like to say thank you for watching, guys. Goodbye.